Meow and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. So let us real quick check what we did, even though it was yesterday. We brought back the shoes, I think. I'm pretty sure, let me glance over to where I see the to-do list. Um, so we brought back the shoes and we were, we are supposed to... Um, da -dum -da -dum. Uh, do dispatch the cult in Hinipalit. Yes, I remember. But we're not going to do this. Instead, uh, even though this is in Vivek, instead we're going to head to the foreign quarter and bring the Roland's tier to Oran Freris. We might actually do the other thing too, because uh, we are currently are in Vivek, so we don't need to walk far. But I do want to give the ingredient over to around Ferris. I could have just taken the boat, that's the word. Go on I am going on about my business. Oh, well, or do you mean I should continue talking about my business? Well, my business, as I said, is with around Ferris in the foreign quarter. This time we travel over the Telvani district because we are Telvani not traveling through that pesky house Lalu place. Quickly, okay, Outlander. let's I haven't see. Much time. But if you don't have much time, then how about you quickly bring me to the foreign quarter? That would be very nice. Thank you very much. And now we just head over upstairs to the plaza, foreign quarter plaza, and then yeah, I think I think if we once we did this, we had to Saint Delen, Saint Delen. So the the German the German word for saint is Sankt. So Saint Delen, and for some reason I still think about that shoe. <laughs> no, we don't get a shoe. We are going to destroy a cult, and also I'm going to push this little button here, this little red button, to start our 30 minutes. Timer. Because remember, your weekly Morrowind therapy, you only have 30 minutes. So if I get here, this should bring me to yes, this should bring me to the big entrance. Neat. I forgot. I actually was completely bamboozled. I forgot that Oran Fredness is not in the Mage's Guild. She's actually having her store here. In one of these, if I'm not mistaken. Wasn't that here? There should be an alchemist here somewhere. No, one of these little things. Um, I wanted to push F for the map. Lower Wasteworks. I think it's in the Lower Wasteworks. Okay. And let's head downstairs. Yes, Vivek is sometimes confusing me a lot. Make this is outlander. where the place should be. This is the Enchanter. But I found the place that I was looking for. That's good. The bookstore, Joe Basha's Rare Books. And there she is. Ma'am, I found you your gold carnet flower. Just what I need. Thank you so much. Here, take this and my gratitude. It's nice to see people would, will still help each other. Well, I've got an exclusive 45 luck, like, which I can also just sell because I'm not going to use it. So I have this ancient Dagoth brandy, which is worth a fortune, actually. Which is good because I might want to buy potions. So let's see actually what I want to buy. Restore fatigue. I have enough restore fatigue on myself. But restore magic is always good. Restore health, of course. Lightning shield, cheap magicka resistance. Interesting. Well, I don't want to fortify my stuff because they still need to be recharged. Restore fatigue, restore health, restore magicka. Well, that's cheap. Actually, 
Dispel water breathing, water walking resistance, resistance. Restore magicka. I think I can't. No. No, I can't search for effects here. So let's real quick go through this and find the restore magicka ingredients because those are the most interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could also buy the restore health ones and just make some health potions, but I think do I still have health potions? Now we can start selling burden, fortify luck. Well, there are three, three exclusive restore healths, so... Fortify health, that's nice. That, that is, for example, this is what you want to do if you fortify your health. When it fortifies the health for one second, so that's not very helpful, but it restores health and fatigue. Yeah, visibility isn't... Restore luck also is not that interesting. No, the seller doesn't have any money left. So I have restore health here. I do have some restore health potions, so I don't need to make new ones. That would just increase my burden. And these are, of course, not ingredients. So I'm just going to sell. Oh, the seller has 300 gold, so I can actually sell more. Okay, um, restoring strength. There are so many restore fatigue potions. Let me see. 29 points. It's basically all the same. Restore health, restore health. Cure disease, spoiled, uh-huh. And now I'm in the area where I sell stuff. And also, that is, I think, okay. Well made. Now let us Greetings. make the potions, because I know I bought two restore magicka magic effects. I bought two restore magicka ingredients. I'm going to use the heart now. And we have another restore magicka potion, which is good. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. What do they sell? Another alchemist. Well, maybe they have more. I'm curious now, so... I mean, we have bad... Um, they have only 200 gold. They will be expensive for us because they don't like us. It's 45, yeah. That's poison resistance, stragility, endurance, fatigue, intelligence, restore magicka. Rising force, blah, blah, blah. And then we have, it's just a pearl. These that restore magicka, which is good. Perfect. Soap was no, that was fortify agility. What Do we have enough money to to just ignore that? Um, yeah, that's basically restore magicka and fortify endurance. I don't care about the fortify endurance. So I'm just going to use the hearts, even though they're uh, expensive. I'm just going to use them. Well, we did make a few potions out of them, so... And it increases our skill, and this is the bookseller, right? Yeah, this is Jobasha's rare, book, rare books. I did mix Jobasha up with that Speak merchant over there. Anyway, what now off to St. Delon District. I don't have any words for any of you, I'm talking to the audience, thank you very much. They always have to think that I'm talking with them. Let me real quick check the map, I want to go to the north, okay. Uh, always so self-centered, these people. Typical Ashlanders. Yep, I'm walking in the right direction. And 
there is our boat. So we let me double check. It was St. Delon Canton. Outlander. I haven't much time. And let me also check the map. At Oran Arena, St. Ohm, St. Dunn, that's here. So if we just go to the arena and then south one more, travel to arena, and then we just head south one district and then we should be there. It's either this one or this one. And then it said under St. Delon from beneath, so I guess we want to go to the Underworks. That's St. Olms. The wrong saint. Mm -hmm. That should be St. Delon Canton. So in order to get to the Underworks, if I'm not mistaken, go up here, enter, and then go down. At least that's how it works in the foreign quarter. These are the waste works. And we have, yeah, there are other candle works, exactly. So we go, basically go down here, and then there should be an entrance to the canal somewhere. Uh, I don't have a uh, what? It? Beneath Red Mountain, Lord Dagoth sleeps, but when he wakes, we all shall rise, and the dust will blow away. Serve your Lord Dagoth Ur. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Uh, well, uh, but can, you, can you tell me who this Dagoth Ur is? I mean, I think we already heard, but still. He is the Lord and Father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep our land clean of the Enwa. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. So what's the sixth house then? The sixth house, the sleeping house, house Dagoth, the house of Lord Dagoth, the true house, the one house to welcome all true Dunmer and drive the Enwa from our land. Take heed, outlander, the day of reckoning is at hand. Take what you can and leave our place, for when Lord Dagoth comes, this will be no place for you. Get well, it out or hit the road. Thanks for the warning then, I guess. There should be an entrance. Oh, okay. Like the abbey, the canal works are on the other side. So we just passed them. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. I don't have any questions, so win win. Oh, this is the entrance. Okay. I thought this was the exit to the outside. So supposedly, there is a cult. I guess not here, but one layer deeper because there's still ordinators here. So let us drop a quick save and go into the underworks. I I think I should have gone. I could have gone here from the outside as well, but nonetheless, let me try something. Do I have? Do I have detect creature? Yes, I have detect creature. Let's try that one out. So now we should see a nice little effect where creatures are. Well, that that worked perfectly. Not. Or do I have? So if I'm not mistaken, that what the detection spells do, well, the question is, it's for five seconds. So yeah, that was, I guess that was just over. What the detection spells do is they create, let's see, there is a creature. And the effect is over and I fail casting the spell. No, it doesn't show. That's sad. Let me just use that short sword to heal myself. Thank you. Taking the energy from the rats. 
just because we don't have much energy left, much magicka left, that is. I don't know if that is one of the cult people. I want to dispatch the rats first. Heal me. I command thee. Thank you for your health. Let's see, let me head to the other side and see if he attacks or not. I would expect a cult to be dressed differently. And also not have this. You will die where you stand. Well he does take some damage from my spells, so I'm going to use them. And I'm going to use this to heal me. long reach. Well, no matter. This is Haki. Well, to be honest, I was told of a cult. And the cult leader, the name sounded like, um, let me check, uh, Bjadmund sounds like a Nord name. And this is a Nord, so it might be a Nord cult. I'm over encumbered now, but I can heal here because they are behind the door. So technically I'm safe here. Um, I'm going to use a mark. And I'm um, seeing the intervention. And then I'm just going to drop stuff here because I don't want to take care of all those bone mold stuff right now. I shall do this some other day. And the steel flame axe, and the Nordic battle axe, and the two Daedric staves, iron flame skewer. I don't need these right now. I'm just going to drop them here. Damage attribute endurance. This is not very heavy, so I'm going to keep it and sell it later. And I'm just going to use Recall. Okay, so... Question is, what do we use? This one has not many um, charges left. My firebite is not very strong. Well, I could just use the stronger one though. I'm going to use the stronger one. I'm going to replace these. I think the enemies have become strong enough so I need to use the firebite number two. Was, it didn't work well. That didn't work well either. And there's the last one. Oh, ah, there's not enough room here. So I'm just going to... Oh, I don't have enough magic. Why don't you say it? tell me earlier? Could have just restored it. <laughs> Soon you'll be reduced to dust. No, I guess rather you will be reduced to dust because I'm using fire magic to kill you. Well, that was that was that. Julid something, okay. And that's the Edmund, and I'm over encumbered, and that's Ormix. Well, honestly, I don't need to. I don't need to drop a mark here because I'm just on the other side of the door. So let me just do the same thing again, and then see Nordic, but standard Nordic battle axe, silver viper blade. 
the steel dagger of swift blade and here and those two steel boots and also i want to wear this steel cuirass that's the right pronunciation steel pauldrons and we're down to 171 again so i can now continue where is the recall there? There. So this is this is the sanctuary of the cult. We have a nice little chest with drinks. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's mainly mead. Uh, I would expect this to be mainly mead. I'm, I'm just using these, no matter which one they are. Oh, um, well, that's a probe. Because um, I don't, I, I just want to use them up, basically. The money. And now the question is, will I be attacked when I do this? Yes, again, there is. He didn't, he doesn't have the shield up, so I can just attack him. There we go. Where is he? There. So we can take all of this. That's a statue of Shield Gora. Okay, I can maybe maybe this is how I get the quest. What is it, mortal? Have you come to be of service to Shagara? That in and of itself speaks toward your madness. This pleases me. Fetch the fork of Horopalation from the mad hermit near Alvadenia. Take care with him. He's not the most stable. Use the fork wisely, mortal. Few have wielded it who have not come away changed. Use the fork to strike a death blow to the giant bull netch that resides near the hermit. Do this. Return the fork of Horopalation to me, and Shegaroth will reward you well. Yes, this is how you get the quest. Interesting. Shegaroth. That's how you pronounce that name. I always thought it was Shieldora. Shegaroth. Interesting. I've entered the shrine of Shegaroth and spoken with the Daedra Prince of Madness. He has offered me the opportunity to perform a service for him. First, I'm to recover a powerful artifact, the Fork of Horripilation, from Matt Ermit lives off on an island of the northernmost points of Tamriel. Then I must slay a giant Golnich that has taken residence near this island. If I can do this, Sh Shagorath promises I will be rewarded well. I need to put this into my quest thing after I finish recording this episode. I'm going to pick everything clean here, though. Closet, some clothing. Another locked chest. I think I can just... No, I can't. I did fight in between. Books and things. More stuff. More things. Something of flame atronach. Shield. That's a regular fork. Empty paper. Um, and let's just have a little rest. I could also take the pillows, but honestly, nope. So this looks like that's it. So we got the quest. We need to come back at some point in time. But I can just use um, Siege Intervention. And head into the temple and tell them, hey, listen, I killed that guy. Yes, I heard Beatmund is dead and the dark cult has been cleansed from the shrine of Ihini Pellet. You have earned the respect of the ancestors. Please take this ancestral wisdom stuff and my gratitude. So let us click here. And we brought the Roland's tear to Oran Freirnis. And we, where is it? Where are you hiding? Um, dispatch cult. There you are. 
I have a different view here. I have a, I have a flat list instead of these nice things. I maybe should change the software that I wrote to also show me the same thing that you see actually. Um, yes. So next thing to do would be, in my opinion, heading to Ghostgate and buying the left pauldron. Thank you very much. Let us see what that staff is doing. Summon Ancestral Ghost and Fortify Conjuration. Mm, nice. That's actually pretty neat. I am blessed to be at your service, Outlander. Well, it's the other way around, basically. I'm at your service, isn't it? No, I'm in your service. Yeah, not at. Well, let us head over and sell stuff. I still did not try if I can just... If it, let me press the stop button. Yeah, it does pause the thing. So with the timer paused, I'm now going to do a little time lapse and sell all this stuff. So see you after the time lapse. Get up here. Doesn't I could at some point I, I was able to jump over there. Well anyway, um, then see you after the time lapse. Okay, so I'm sick of selling all the stuff. Um, we have so much wealth now, we have 46,000 gold. Um, we can pick up the stuff later if we need the gold. Especially since I now again sold the 14,000 gold worth Daedric stuff. So let us continue doing quest stuff and I will do the part where I ask Sharon in Balmora, the, the, the Orcish woman in the Mages Guild about necromancy who claims that she's not a necromancer, so let's see oh, about that. Welcome, because we're already here. And also let me push this here button to let the timer continue. I think that was her, wasn't it? So, um, necromancy. Necromancers. No, of course not, as I, as I said. And there's a spells button. So she does teach me spells, but she says she can't teach me any necromancy spells. Truly. How may I help you? There is two chests that we could check. Something in the basket. Behind the behind the shelf. So I have to admit I did Basically, I saw this mission in sure. the... Let's click save. I saw this mission in the... Um, in the journal. And then I checked the wiki because I was curious what this meant. 
and uh, it says I need to pick, I need to look into something undetected where I find something where I can basically find that she is a necromancer. How are you? No, she's looking at me so I can find. So if we can sneak like this, then we're golden. Or maybe walk with virtue, Outlander. Which is good charger. Maybe like You seem that. quite intriguing. Please share your thoughts. So everyone is looking at me, which is bad. I bet it is one of these two chests. Welcome, so. friend. Well, I can't possibly do this without being expelled because people are looking right at me. I'm too bad at sneaking for that. Let me see. If I stand here, I'm undetected. Basically, that's the area I'm, I'm, I'm going to be detected in. Let me see what happens if I do. Do I have something that fortifies my sneak skill? Well, I do have my my powers, right? Yeah. What about if I use my powers? It's just drinks, okay. Ancestors and the Dharma, Darkest Darkness, Sharn's Legion of the Dead. Legion of the Dead, that's a necromancy book, and I think that's the name we became mentioned. I completely forgot that I have my power, that I have the power that, that basically grants me Sneak skills, because I'm a cat. Finally, something interesting. So then it's said to confront her about the book. And now it can be taught a ghost or a skin. Okay, I didn't read what, what I get, so where'd you get that? That's my copy of Legions of the Dead. Oh, all right, I'm a necromancer. Look, I'll teach you a spell, but you'll have to keep your mouth shut about this. I can teach you the summon ancestral ghost, or if you prefer, I can. I think I have the scattered minion already, so I'm going to go for the ghost. So we have done this quest. A sincere welcome to you. May you be forever blessed. Yeah. So now we can summon an ancestral ghost or a skeletal minion. That's good. And let's see what else we can do. To-do list. I'm looking into the, onto the camera, um, the OBS window. This is why I'm looking away from the camera right now. So the only green thing, so I now see what you see, basically. Buy glass left pauldron from Dronas Levru in Ghostgate. Because this is easier to read for me. I do need to change the UI of my, of my little tool. Yep, yep. Even, even then, I would be looking here, because the tool is... The tool is over there, so, ah, uh, yeah, it is how it is. Um, it's not perfect. Okay, we want to go to Ghostgate. I'm sorry, I'm a bit tired. I haven't been sleeping properly for a while now. Welcome. And also, I think it's the timer says something 40-ish seconds. So I think I'm actually going to end the episode here, and the next episode will be our trip to Ghostgate. So you have to wait for another week. Bless you. You have to wait for another week to see us buying glass armor. Until then, take care and bye-bye.